All right, in this video, I will be switching out this old Honeywell thermostat for a new Ecobee thermostat. You can see that this is a very old one. It's got some sort of mercury tilt switch in there. This old thermostat definitely does not take advantage of the two-stage furnace and air conditioner that I have. Now, this is an Ecobee smart thermostat that I picked up at Lowe's. Generally, these run for $329 plus tax in Canada. Best Buy had it on sale for $300, and then I went and price matched at Lowe's, and they'll give you 10% off the best competitor's price. So I ended up getting this thing for $270, which is a pretty good deal here in Canada. So you see it comes with the thermostat itself. It comes with a sensor. It comes with an instructional manual. It comes with a power pack so that if you don't have a common 24-volt wire going to your thermostat, you could use the power extender kit to still hook up to the furnace. It comes with a mounting plate. It comes with a little metal base stand for the additional sensor. And inside of the instruction package, there's also a larger wall plate to be used if you have a large hole in the wall that the Ecobee thermostat itself can't cover. And that is definitely my case. Uh, and there's also some screws and plugs included in the box. And just as a demonstration, the Ecobee thermostat just mounts on like that. Now, the old thermostat is wired into a new furnace, and they definitely splice the wires uh, right near the furnace. So I did make a bit of a, a map showing which wire plugged into what in the furnace because the colors change in some instances, so it's not so straightforward. So the map on the wall definitely helped. So at this point I'm going to take one wire off the thermostat at a time. The first one is the uh, the whiskey or whiskey one wire and that's one of the switched wires and that one goes to heat. The second wire I removed is the Yankee or Yankee one and that one goes to the air conditioner. I then removed the the Gulf wire which goes to the fan I then removed the Romeo wire, which is a switched power wire. There are jumpers on the old thermostat, but there's no requirement to use the jumper on the Ecobee. Now on my diagram, you can see the R terminal goes from black, changes in the middle to red. My Whiskey wire actually stays white the whole time, so that was convenient. The G wire goes from black, switches to green, and then goes into the G on the furnace. And finally, my Yankee wire goes white, ties into an orange along the line, and then plugs into the Yankee at the furnace. Now you can see I have one bonus wire here, which is the red wire, which is very convenient, and I'm going to create a common wire so I kind of lucked out with having that one bonus wire so you can see that I've also labeled all the wires down at the furnace just to keep everything straight for the future and for anyone who comes into the house later perhaps and you can also see that I took that red wire and tied it into an existing black so I guess I too am guilty of switching colors but I sort of have to and now I'm going to take that and put it into the constant 24 volt power on the furnace. So before working on the furnace board, you definitely need to turn the power off to the furnace. And then plugging the wires in is fairly straightforward. So it just tucks under the, the screw and if you've done any electrical work, it's quite similar. Now you do need a drill if you're gonna be using drywall plugs and obviously I recommend it. So I put the drywall plugs in and then I pull the wires through the center of the mounting plate. And then I put the second mounting plate on where the wire terminals have to attach to. Obviously it comes with two screws and it's got a little level there. And you can see that I've got everything leveled out. I've attached all the wires. Uh, the, the R wire just goes into the RC terminal. And I do make one error and that is plugging the Y wire into Y2. It is in Y2 at the furnace. However, if you only have one Yankee wire in your Ecobee, 
it has to go to Y1. So that's what it's telling me right here before it kicks up. So I have to pop that off and change it. Now before it's going to work, you do need to turn your furnace back on. So I did quickly go down, turn the furnace off, and switch it from Yankee 2 to Yankee 1. I don't have any humidifiers or dehumidifiers or ventilators, so just keep hitting next. Switch it to Celsius because I'm in Canada and that's what we do. You do need your Wi-Fi password to do this, and then it'll take a little while to download some firmware. And then once it's successfully connected to the, the internet, you could just select whatever you want, auto, heat, or cool, and start playing around with your Ecobee. Overall, I found this very easy to install. If you didn't have that common terminal, then obviously it would be a little bit more difficult. In the future, I'm definitely gonna run a new wire so that I could actually take advantage of second stage heating and cooling. And the last thing I had to do was fix that wall. So I did patch all around the thermostat and then I painted it twice. And in fact, it took longer to paint the wall than it did to install the Ecobee. I would say that if everything goes well, you can have this in in an hour to an hour and a half. And obviously, if you do need to run new wires, then it would take a little bit longer. I'm very satisfied with the product so far. And I look forward to playing around with it on the Christmas break and then getting the new wiring hooked up so I can see what I could do with the two-stage heating and cooling in the house. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.